Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be playing with Mega Carnivore and Mew Mew. So pretty cool deck of course. Um, you have a lot of flexibility with all the wide array of attackers that you have as you can see. So first off we have Mew Mew of course with the ability Perfection, super incredibly good, especially in Expanded when there's just so many options to copy from GX and EX attackers from the discard pile or the, um, or the bench. And so we are going to be focusing for the most part on Mega Guard of War EX's Despair Ray which allows you to attack for 110 damage plus 10 more for each Pokemon from the bench you this card. So combining Mega Gardevoir EX with Giratina actually makes a lot of sense to me um, because you get those extra damage counters and then you remove the Giratinas and then you put them back thanks to Distortion Door and then you place even more damage counters. So a really nice way to combine that. Um, Ricky Nugan, Long Egg, Michael Gomez, Nick Miller, Alex, Exia, Camut Gaming. Thank you so much for being here. How come YouTube instead of Twitch? Well, um, we're trying out. Yeah, we're trying it out. Um, YouTube is where I have my biggest following, so I figured why not give this a try, see if people are interested in watching. And yeah, I might give out some codes um, here and there. Um, gaming, perhaps, if I find the ones I have laying around somewhere in my room. Um, but yeah, just giving it a try, like seeing if people are interested in um, the live streams over here, and if not, we can just go back to Twitch, no problem. So, as I was mentioning, um, the deck focuses on Mewtwo and Mew, Mario Party for EX, and the recycling of Giratina, but we do have other options, as you can see. We have Jirachi GX to prevent weakness with Psychic Zone in the Mew Mew Mirror matches, we have Magyarna EX's ability Mystic Heart, which allows you to uh, prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to each of your Pokemon that have any metal energy attached to it. So something like, you could prevent something like um, Granger Shadow Stitching if both Magyarna and Mew Mew have a Prism Energy, that's not very likely, but you can pro prevent something like Trumpet GX from discarding energy from you. You can prevent a Paralysis from a Froakie different things like that. Now, we also have Altaria GX's Bright Tone attack potential, dealing 50 damage and preventing all damage done to his Pokemon by attacks from GX's and EX's during the next turn. So really, really nice between Altaria and um, Agyarna, you basically become um, immune to everything um, from GX's, which is really cool. We also have Neuburn GX to potentially leave when we don't need to deal a bunch of damage, we can distort and deal 50 damage and then your opponent can play any item cards from your hand. This is better than um, Seismic Toad because we can cover the energy very easily um, thanks to Animation Valley, but more importantly, it's not another bad starter added to the deck. Now we also have a Lolan Marowak GX with the Lost Boomerang GX attack where um, you choose two of your opponent's Pokemon, you deal 50 damage to each of them and if you actually get a knockout with this attack, and that means the Pokemon go to a Lost Zone instead of the Discard Battle. So really, really cool. Um, Calabasin, hello. Thank you so much for being here. And Alex as well. Appreciate the kind words. Now, we finally have Necrozma GX's Black Raid GX attack so that you can deal 100 damage to your opponent's benched GX and EX. So a real nice way to finish off um, games or close up games where you ended up um, spreading a bunch of damage counters and then between the max potions and the Acerolas you should be able to out heal a lot of things that end up trying to beat you. Um, we do play 4 Battle Compressor of course to get the right Pokemon the discard pile along with the Giratinas. We also have um, a bunch of supporters, the Sycamore, the End, the Colrith, the Acerola and the Guzma that we don't mind in the discard pile so that we can use with via Seekers. And then we have Ultra Balls and Mysterious Treasures to search for the Pokemon that we need search for the Dennis and Seamus to accelerate ourselves as well as um, Mars Shadow. We have Computer Search as our wild card and a spec of choice. And then we have a Rescue Stretcher, Double Flow Stone, Double Stealthy Hood, and 
six energy. So between Stealthy Hood and Four Stadiums, you should be able to cover the ability locking options that exist. And so let's jump into the ladder. Um, this is another deck that I will be featuring later, the Trevenant and Tosnor deck, which um, is a pretty cool deck to play with, honestly. Um, if things work out nicely and when they don't, then you're in a lot of trouble, but um, we're gonna start with Mail Guard War and work from there. So thanks so much to everyone who's been here, who's here right now. It's been a while since I last streamed in YouTube. No, no Tapu Lele. Um, between the the supporters, the compressor, and the Denny and Shaman, I felt like this was enough, though there is merit. Um, there is definitely merit to playing um, at least one Tapu Lele, I guess. Because you're already playing the treasure, so yeah, I guess there's merit to that. Um, okay, so we definitely want to attack, right, on turn one, ideally, against this Reshizard. However, um, the main thing is going to be to uh, find our Flowstone. That's probably going to be the most difficult card to find here, the Flowstone. <laughs> Josh, thanks so much. Thank you so much. I am happy to be live on YouTube. We'll see. We'll see where we get with this YouTube experiment over the course of this week, and then if people end up um, supporting us or not, then I'll definitely happily um, keep doing it. Otherwise, we can just go back to Twitch. It's no big deal. Right? It's, it's no big deal. All right, the dashboard isn't working though for me, so I'm gonna have to work on that. Okay, and right off the bat immediately, we face off against a similar-ish deck. We both have the Neuburn. She has the Latios as well. Goes for the Let Loose immediately. And does exactly what you wanted to do with the Let Loose. <laughs> So now we rely on the top deck to get going. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, the four cards were another Mew Mew, an Energy, the Dene, and the Ninja GX. Now we have a bunch of outs. We have four Via Seekers, four Ultra Balls, two Treasures, the two Sycamore, the Ant, the Colrus. So that's 14 potential cards, plus the actual to the Denny and two Shamans, that's 18, plus the Let with Marshall, that's 19 cards we can top deck. There we go. There we go. So off of this compressor, I'm gonna discard the Mega Cardi. I'm gonna discard a Sycamore in case I get a Via Seeker. Wow, I priced one Sycamore and two Via Seekers. That's insane. And then I honestly think I'm gonna discard. Uh, Giratina, I guess. Well, Altaria seems solid as well. Except for the fact that my problem with Weldered. I guess Altaria seems a little better. Alright, and then I can, however, use Giant Heart. Possibly to keep this guy locked up. If I manage to attack with that guy. And then let's just go for our own let loose. I mean, out of all of the options that we have to draw, this one was definitely the least um, impactful, if you will. Now, this is pretty solid though. This is definitely pretty solid. So I'm just gonna set up for four and then all of these cards I'll work into a Mew Mew and a Tetene, or I can just draw them. Or I can actually just draw them. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discard this guy for a Giratina, sure. And then I'll Ultra Wall away these two for another Giratina. And then if I prize those cards, then that should mean I have my two post turns. I do. So I have yet to play a supporter card. I'm going through a lot of cards this turn, but getting a first hit in here, plus cleaning up my bench would be pretty nice. Unfortunately, <laughs> We drew so bad out of this, so, so bad. Oh no, I can actually do this. Well, I'm gonna lose so many energies though. Can I afford to lose half my energies? 
I mean, I think I have to, right? Or I could just Shaman. That seems less destructive. That certainly seems less destructive. Alright. So then I'll definitely attach this special energy. So I could have drawn a brand new six cards, but I really didn't think that was optimal, just losing everything here. Um, after seeing this, now I'm starting to think maybe that would have been the play, but oh well. So we don't get to put pressure. It didn't start with Mimu. That is one of the drawbacks of this particular deck. So then, will my opponent be able to switch out the Reshem and Charizard? That's question number one. And then question number two is, what does she do? What does she do with that? If she knocks out my Jirachi, that means I can respond with my Mew Mew with a one hit KO fairly easily, right? So got rid of so Galio, this Mewtwo damage change one, and the Charizard, the shiny Charizard. So my opponent playing a very um, nice deck as well. So it seems like he's gonna go for a knockout on Jirachi. Oh, with the tag verge. Goes for the tag verge, alright. Um, so then I go for Altaria GX's Bright Tone. No, well, yeah, I do, right? I think I do. I don't want to end though. Ugh, attack bridge, super annoying. I don't want to end my opponent. I don't think I have a choice though. Yeah, nice timing, full stones. Nice freaking timing. Okay, so. Huh. I'm a little confused as to what to do here. Seems like we're in a kind of like a stalemate. She can bypass one of my attacks, but what happens afterwards? Right? So maybe I go Sky Return here? Nah, Sky Return doesn't make much sense. I kind of want to clean up my bench. Ah, uh, can I afford to get rid of the Jirachi though? I think I have to. I mean, it basically becomes, if you knock me out, I knock you out, right? I don't have a good follow-up to this. I mean, I don't get rid of this just yet. <laughs> I mean, sure, I have Mewtwo, but what do I do afterwards? Hmm, that's a problem. Yeah, I, I'm dead. Oh, I represent that here. I am a hundred percent dead. I don't. I'm very confused as to what I could have done differently there. Um. Derek, see, si, see, si, there are un evento expandido in Dallas. This deck is the most broken deck of expanded. You couldn't draw brand new. Oh yeah, I had already that it changed. Oops. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, should people play Karen to counter this, or would Drawback be better? I mean, both are good. Karen is temporary, right? Karen is only temporary. Uh, Altaria is underwhelming, but it's really good in very peculiar situations. You know, for example, against um, against Blastoise. Because it stops Keldeo GX as well. Okay, so I can't knock her out. 
right? I can't knock her out. So what's my plan? What is even my plan? Okay. She shouldn't be able to knock me out, right? Wait, what? What? Oh, she used Crimson Revenge to get the kill. I don't think I can win. I don't believe I can win here. Not anymore. Deck out strategy doesn't work. Take out strategy does not work. So what do I even do here? I mean, bright zone, I guess. But then she goes tack merge, and then I have nine cards left. She has twenty. So what do I do? What happens if you discard Drachu with Carnivore's attack? Will the ability still work? No. Drachi only works when it's in play. I'm sorry, I was just way too concentrated on the game. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Pretty sure we are dead here. I don't see how I can possibly win. I Maybe mean, I just needed to be paid. Well, no. With the bench that I had, she could have just gone Kuzma, Kuzma, Kuzma to win. Right? This damage change Mewtwo? I definitely don't think this is better than Alola Nine Tails, right? This can't possibly be better than Alola Nine Tails GX. That makes no sense. Okay, so there's a Charizard with Flare Blitz, there's Lele for Welder, so yeah, that's another back-to-back -back 300 damage. Well, she wouldn't be able to damage me, but I mean, in the deck out game, it was just impossible at that point, I'm pretty sure. It was just impossible. Let's find a better game. Let's find a better game. And yes, this was indeed Mount Coronet Remix. <laughs> this was indeed the mantra that we mix. Um, Jonathan, there hasn't been a regional in Expanded, so this all like all of these lists are brand new. Yeah, all of these lists are brand brand new. There's um, there's no such thing as lists from regionals because um, there hasn't been any expanded regional. So all these are potential ideas to utilize. For the next regionals. Yeah. All right. So now this hand is looking a little better. A little, a little better. Uh, yeah, that's true. The mutual damage change can be used multiple times. That is true. Uh oh. We're up against Night March, which is definitely a problem. I really need my Jirachi GX right here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. That has to be my priority, right? Otherwise, this Bonka was gonna KO me so, so easily. And I don't think I need to do anything else, really. Don't wanna lose the Max Potion, to be honest. So I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> I do mean AC for only two days. I mean, yeah, that's Jonathan. The, um, the regional is happening, not this weekend, but the one afterwards. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, expanded regionals will be starting in two weeks' time. Next, not this weekend, but on the 2nd of November, that's um, North Carolina. No, not North Carolina. Richmond, Virginia. And then the week afterwards, the weekend afterwards, it's um, Portland, Oregon both in the expanded format, 
And then the weekend afterwards, it's um, the, inter the Latin American International Championship in Brazil. And then there's nothing. And then the weekend afterwards, there's um, Daytona Beach Regional. And then the weekend afterwards, I think, or two weekends afterwards, there's San Diego Regionals. And then that's the last one for the year. In North America, at least, plus the Latin America. Uh, no, the new, the new, the new. <laughs> These two tournaments, yeah, the ones, the two that are happening in Expanded, they will not have the ban lists. Yeah, the bans take effect on the 15th of November, which is after these two regionals. So we have these two regionals before the bans, and then uh, the, the bans will only affect League Challenges, League Cups, and until Dallas regionals in January. Yeah. Oh, you already got the 2,000 points for a ladder. That's pretty impressive, gaming. You've been playing really hard, I guess. I mean, is that March potentially playing Power Plant to turn off Jirachi GX? Potentially, yeah. But the thing is, if they play Power Plant, then they can't take advantage of the Dimension Valley, right? Therefore, they are not um, attacking me this turn. So it's like, what do you do? Do you attack or do you shut off the ability? And if you shut off the ability, then Pumpka will need three energies to attack for weakness. So actually, probably Power Plant is not something that um, Night March will end up playing at all. Now that I think about it. Okay, so an Ultra Wall for Shaman, I guess. All right, so then we'll set up for or, yeah, Jonathan, that is true. And to also like not make it so that people who have already been playing this format, right, just get completely um, like affected, you know, by uh, by the changes. Like if you've been testing for the last month for that tournament, and then they suddenly change the cards are banned two weeks before, then that would not be very nice. Okay, so I'm thinking via Seeker for Acerola here. Because I get a prize that is I have an Mew Mew -mu and an energy, and I can just um, Acerola away. So, yeah, so I'm benching this, attaching here, and then I'm gonna Acerola. And then I'll Acerola the active to prevent a potential knockout. Right, and then I'll bench this. I'll only use one Giratina this time, but next turn I'll be using a Funch. And these Mew and this um, and this Marsha will certainly be the targets that I go for. And then we go Despair Ray, uh, not the Jirachi. I almost messed that up. <laughs> I almost, almost messed that up. Uh, Derek, no, definitivamente no. El nuevo Mimikyu es realmente jugable en un solo deck, que es Malamar, y, y Mew Mew puede jugar Stealthy Hood para prevenir a Mimikyu, puede jugar pociones para quitar el daño, definitivamente no lo va a hacer injugable, para nada. Um, gaming, when is Cosmic Eclipse card gonna be out? On PCGO, they're gonna be out this next um, Sunday, I mean not Sunday. What am I saying? They're gonna be out on the 31st of October, yeah, on Halloween. Thursday, 31st of October, that's when um, you can, you can, the physical code cards that you have, you can start opening those packs and you can start trading for the cards. And on the 1st of November, you can buy packs with the coins, yeah. Okay, so teammates for Joltik and TCE, very likely. Then we see set up for four. Then we see the set up for four. And then we see another night march. Not very successful one though. Okay, so now if this was a Guzma, I'd be in a really, really nice spot. Um, it's not the biggest of deals, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna distortion door 
on these two guys. I really don't need to draw any more cards. Now Distortion Door. Basically the Giratinas allow me to draw extra prizes. Right, so easily. So, so easily. Like so far I've only taken two, but next turn I'll be knocking out these two people. Which is really awesome. And I'm also preventing knockouts thanks to these Acerolas. I did prize two via Seekers, so back to back, yeah, back, -to -back Acerolas were not completely out of the question. I'll do that, and I'll bench, and then I shall despair ray. Goodbye, Giratinas. Goodbye, Giratinas. And then, okay, so let me, let me ask this in chat. Which of you guys, or which of you people, um, follow me on YouTube but have never been on a stream on Twitch. Like, do you pre would you prefer me to stream on YouTube? Would you prefer me to stream on Twitch? What would you like? I would generally love to know. I would really, really, really love to know. And there's a victory. There is the victory. So against non one kill decks, this deck seems really, really good. Against one kill deck, this deck seems really bad, as we've seen in these two matches, right? As we have seen in these two matches. Uh, there's only seven hours to go for the AC. There's only seven hours to go for this AC. So we're looking for another opponent. YouTube is preferred for streaming, Jeff, okay. Michael Gomez, you always, always miss Twitch, but I'm, you're always on YouTube. Okay, I can always do both. I actually cannot because I'm a partner on Twitch, so that means I cannot do two live streams at once. Um, Crunk Serial, you're subscribed on YouTube but not following on Twitch. You follow on YouTube but have never been on Twitch. You like Twitch. Okay, so I mean, it makes sense, right? People who are here today on YouTube who will regularly watch on YouTube. And then people on Twitch will regularly watch on Twitch. And Jonathan, you'd prefer just to support me on whichever platform is more creator friendly. So, I mean, both platforms are honestly really good. Right, both platforms, wow, with this hand, I don't think I want to start the Christmas. Both platforms are really good. Yeah, but it seems like on Twitch, um, there are very few people overall that watch Pokemon. TCG, competitive Pokemon TCG, and then to top that off, um, to top that off, there's um, there's like I don't know. There's so many streamers and so many of us stream at the same time that if there's 300 people watching at any given point, then um, the market just starts getting super saturated. You know, so I think that's the biggest um, issue I've been running into right now. So I think it makes sense to try and diversify and explore a new option where um, perhaps people are not um, used to streams and there's many more people who might discover the stream. And of course, there's, um, there's the fact that I have a much bigger following on YouTube and on Twitch so far, which makes sense since I started first on one versus the other. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna lose my third Fiat Seeker. That's really bad. That is actually really bad. So, what I can do is either go in for the attack of this Greninja Zork with a Kuzma, and that leaves me completely open. Open to just nothing, or I can go for. A Sycamore. Alright, so let's be a Seeker for Sycamore. I definitely want this other Mew Mew down. And let's Sycamore. I'm really looking for a Floatstone to be able to attack this turn. And I do find it. Thank you very much. I don't find much else. And thank you so much for the follower, Jeff. For the subscription, I mean. Alright. So I'll retreat and then use double distortion door, no reason not to. 
just get that damage onto the Cringe and Zork. And then hopefully my opponent. Oh! <laughs> I forgot to discard the Mega Guardi. Whoops. I forgot to discard the Mega Guardi. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I forgot to discard the Mega Guardi. I just you always assume it's there. So instead of that second Giratina, I should have gotten rid of the Mega Guardi. Completely blanked out that I had not discarded the Mega Guardi. Whoopsies. Oopsies. Um, Max Grossman, I mean, the number of viewers right now is usually around the same I get on Twitch, but this is a new audience, right? And then obviously bits help, YouTube has its own super chat feature, uh, in which you can help support the channel. You can subscribe as well on YouTube, um, and it has cheaper-ish options on Twitch as well. So that's certainly an interesting option. Um, okay, so I'm gonna need to Guzma and just let this guy go down. <laughs> oopsies. Big oopsies on my part. I don't even have the stadium. What was I thinking? Okay, but I mean, if my opponent clears up this, is he gonna Guzma? No, he's gonna Lysander. Okay, well, he'll get three prizes. I wouldn't have been able to attack anyways. I should not have retreated though. It's fine, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. That was a big oopsie though. Um, Alex, you you would have to join. <laughs> you would have to join. There are different options. There should be like a join button somewhere in the stream. Yeah, there should be a join button somewhere in the stream where you can actually join. Um, okay, so I think I wanna now I'll grab the Giratina. Well, maybe I do need to be careful of one kill potential. Attack with this guy. We'll see. So, do I want to clear up my bench or do I want to attack with Giratina? I feel like I might want to attack with. I mean, not Giratina Altaria. Definitely the Compressor. Definitely it's Delhi good. I don't know if my opponent is playing a psychic Pokemon or not though, that's the issue. I do think I need to clear my bench though. Well do I? Can I just Bright Tone? Maybe I just Bright Tone for now. This does give my opponent so many turns though. So many turns. <clears throat> Um, yeah, Jonathan, I think that makes sense. Appealing to a wider crowd, right? And Volkswagen, <clears throat> thank you, thank you for being here, Rail. Yeah, I didn't have Bali, so silly. Um, so yeah, like, in order to unlock the emotes, um, you can, somewhere, like, next to my name, down below in the stream, there should be, like, a join button. And if you decide to join there, that's how you can do it. Okay, so my opponent is playing the Mew. So now, not only do I need Jirachi GX, but I also am in a lot of trouble here. If this elixir hits, it does. Is that game? That is game. <laughs> that is game. Así es, Kevin. Estoy intentando algo nuevo, un público nuevo. Yeah much I could have done there. Losing that first Mew Mew was awful. Wow, my opponent had four Town Flames, Kuzma and Lysander in his two full dark list. All right. Um, so once again, really bad against uh, one kill decks. Add to that my mistake, and then <laughs> you have a recipe for disaster. Hello, Gaetano. Do you think Hobby X from Dragon's Exalted will be viable with Reshiram? Um, expand in expanded, yeah, there. I do think so. Um, I think there's already been an expanded turn in Japan, and the the Reshiram deck actually used that whole EX. But I think overall, um, I mean, between Elixirs and Coco Prism, 
and holy eggs, that should be the norm to build the, the restaurant back. Speaking of restaurant, <laughs> okay, so we go second once again. Something that really hurts this deck, <laughs> and then with this start, that's just awful. That is just absolutely awful. So yeah, like there are like both both platforms have different ways to to subscribe and support um, the streamer. So Twitch has subscriptions and bits. YouTube has well, YouTube has okay next to like the tablemon icon where you subscribe to the channel where you click on subscribe to a channel there should be like a join button yield seems like the best sacrum partner i mean potentially potentially i'll discard a sycamore so i have the seeker as a potential top deck out of this You prefer Twitch Katana? Okay, that's fair. Like I said, I'm I'm not opposed to to any of them. I'm just figuring out seeing which one works um, for us, right? Okay, so I want to distortion door just so I don't lose. I don't know what my opponent's trying to do. I don't know what my opponent's trying to do. Okay, so. I will show where to jump. Okay, after this turn, well, I'm just gonna pass. Do I start powering up a Giratina? I mean, that doesn't seem the absolute worst. It doesn't seem the absolute worst because now that I mentioned Val becomes a viable top deck. Okay, so. This is where you can you can join. Yeah. You can join and you can become a member on YouTube as well. It'll show you the different options. There's no free option like Amazon Prime has for um, for Twitch, but um, there are some cheaper cheaper options. I hope that helps people find that. Okay. Ooh, so my good side to Israela. Okay. I'm gonna float stone here. If I get Mew Mew plus Stadium, I just win. So I'm not gonna attach here. If I only get the Stadium, there you go. I was gonna say, if I only got the Stadium, then now I just win, right? Now I just win. I'm pretty sure. If I clean up my bench, I need for weakness. Fair Ray, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160 times 2, 320. That's a game. So I don't know what kind of deck my opponent's playing, but. Wait, what? Oh, I benched the Jirachi. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, technically, I won that game. Oh my gosh, how silly was that? My expanded mechanics are just off the charts. <laughs> Eh, Kevin, pues no hay manera de hacer eso realmente. No hay manera de hacer eso. Okay, so my opponent just showing off his deck. It was a uh, Mew Mew Vileplum. She can just KO me here with Miraculous Duo for weakness. I don't know what she's waiting for. Maybe she doesn't realize. <sighs> Why did I bench Jirachi? That's so dumb. <laughs> that was so silly. And yeah, that must be why, Alex, because you're not on your computer. That must be why. Big rip, indeed. Oh, is he gonna damage change? Please damage change. I don't think she realizes she can. She just wins here. I don't think she realizes she just wins. Which would be pretty funny. That was so silly. <laughs> yeah. What took you so long, my friend? What took you so long? Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. I mean, I'll chuck that as a win though. I'll count that as a win. That was definitely a win in my book. So that I don't bench that Jirachi, I win. Oopsies. 
I wasn't sure if discarding it would affect the weakness or not, uh, but it, I, honestly at the time it didn't cross my mind. I thought I had just won. And I was being fancy and maximizing the damage output. Turns out I was wrong. All right. Okay, one more dead hand to the list. I mean, I have the stretcher plus the compressor, so that's a way to get out of this, but the hands I've been drawing have definitely not been very encouraging for this deck overall. Not very encouraging overall. So when I saw Psychic and Dragon type, I immediately thought my phone was going to be playing um, Garchim Giratino with Miss Mage's pre ban but in fact, that's not going to be the case. That is not going to be the case. I think, James, that's for um, super chats, which is different than joining. Like, joining the stream is like um, subscribing on Twitch, right? Whereas, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, James. Thank you so much. I believe that was, yeah, super chat. See, so that's different than joining, but thank you so much for the support. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so I don't mind losing this Earl Law, so the Dene will be the Pokemon I discard. I'll discard the Gardevoir GX so I can attack, right? Oh, you know what? I can discard double, I can KO double Inkey this turn by attacking with Alolan Marowak. That's insane. Thank you so much, James, for the $1.99. I get a double KO on in case. That seems really good. <laughs> Actually seems really good. I mean, do I need to though? Yeah, why not? I, I do find the energy to attack if I change my mind. I can't battle compressor and more things away like this, like this, and like this. So what do I do? Yeah, I, I honestly like taking down the two pink gates. I'll still attach. And then I'll only use one distortion door for now. <laughs> Thank you so much, James. Thank you so, so much. Mm. Now I'll just get the damage in now. On to the other two guys. I mean, I don't expect my opponent to do much of a three card hand. Like, sure, she'll stop, he'll stop my supporters, right? Uh, lost Boomerang. Goodbye, in case, to the Lost Zone. Why do you play Necrozma? Well, after a few turns, or many turns, of um, using Giratina's Distortion Door, you can probably just close out a game by dealing 100 damage everywhere, so I think it has potential. And you could go a step further and play the non-GX Tapulele. You could use an attack and then rearrange the damage counter. That also seems like a good option, but it's mostly for that. Uh, the ban's not happening soon enough, <laughs> sports fan. I mean, are you going to either regional? Are you going to either of the regionals that are happening with the band? Okay, so if my boy's playing Expert Belt, then he will be able to GG and my Mewtwo. If he's not though, then he's gonna be in trouble. But I need to make sure that I don't play myself into a GG and GX, where I only have to book one and then he discards both and he wins that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Those go for the linear attack, dealing the initial 40 damage. Uh, not the biggest of deals, I think. So I can attack. I can just Bright Tone. But then he might be able to discard me. I'll play my last compressor. Uh, well, if I bench Makiarna, then he cannot GG and my Mewtwo. So that's really nice. That is, in fact, really nice. Yeah, I don't think I need to tell the hoods here. And then, well, my hand is not that great. I think I'm just gonna end. It's fine. 
draw less cards, I do find the Dene and an Ultra Roll. So what do I do here? Do I just... What do I even do here? If I don't Brighton, I lose this Mewtwo. If I do Brighton without my Giarna, then GG ends. I'm not sure my opponent will know the mechanics of GG end. So I'm gonna go for the Magyarna. Alright, so I'm gonna Brighton. So I believe with the oh no, I don't have a I don't have a a metal energy at that. <laughs> I just assumed this was a prism. If this was a prism, I would have um, full protection against this. Right, 100% full protection against this. Ah, uh, but I messed up again. <laughs> Jeez, I'm playing so bad today. Not gonna lie, I'm playing so bad today. Thoughts on Espion EX? Ah, uh, I don't think there are any relevant evolution decks, Nick, for Espion EX to be relevant. Um, the Christmas is great versus Pigram on Turbo Dark. Top four of this or a cup this weekend. You took six prizes and seven prizes on one turn versus Peaker on. There you go. There you go. Um, so silly. So so silly. Cuando hay batallas con suscriptores en PitCGO, Derek. Um, cuando entra en ritmo de nuevo a transmitir todos los días, los viernes es. El día que dedico a eso. All right, so saved by my top deck and the fact that my opponent didn't realize what attack I decided to use. All right, Greninja could run me over. Not when I have Mystic Heart, though. Not when I have Mystic Heart and I have a metal here and a metal here. Then um, Shadow Stitching does not work. Okay, so now, now, now I am immune. Let's see my opponent um, <laughs> GG and me next turn and for it not to work. <laughs> um, Zorg GX, you mean, Nick? As an attack? I mean, Aegon already does that, but better. Um, so there's a stadium. I really want to see the GG end here, though. I really, really want to see the GG end. Stadium plus um, N would be problematic. There's a Lele. I do have three other stadiums still left though. Greninja is firing and expanding with greens. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. So there we see a Lele. Is it gonna be for N? No, for Lily. Okay, so my opponent's deck definitely not the most competitively viable, right? Power plan, no big deal. Oh, facing Zorak GX. I mean, you out, you just out heal Zorak GX. You simply out heal Zorak GX. I don't think you need to worry about it. Uh, where's my attack right tone? You don't have to worry about Zorak GX. I don't think between Azorolas and Max Potions, you should be able to out damage Zorak. Um, but it is a viable strategy to go Necrozma GX on all their Zorks and then devolve them, but I don't think you need it to beat them, to win the matchup, so it would just make it an even easier match for you, right? But not necessarily make it, um, change it from winnable to not, like, from a bad matchup to a good matchup, you know? Alright, so my opponent decides to switch, I do have computer search to search for my third stadium. Okay, so finally my opponent decides to bypass <laughs> and goes for the 4 KO on the Dedene, which is fine. Wow, what the heck, Beck? <laughs> 
What the heck? I just top deck back to back the cards I've needed. So I'm gonna bright tone. I don't think my opponent can take six prizes before I can take four, maybe. Slow and steady, I guess. Um, do you think the new Magneton will be good in Mimi Honshro Jack Chip Chip deck? Potentially, potentially, um, potentially in. I mean, in both standard and expanded, the issue is in expanded, it will be after the bands. So that deck, like any handlock deck without, um, without Miss Magius, there's the GG end. Without Miss Magius, it's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, that was a failed GG end. Yeah, that was a failed GG end. Um, but yeah, the new Magneton will definitely open up some cool plays, I think, by finding supporters. But without Surge in Expanded, um, like in Mew Mew, Hunchcrow, you would need the Lieutenant Surge and then Welder onto the Mew Mew and then have the uh, Jesse and James plus the Chip Chip Ice Axe plus the Hunchcrow. So possible, but very convoluted. Right? And yeah, I can use Black Rage X eventually to win indeed. I can use Black Rage X or any attack really. Uh, Synchro Woofer, 70, if you have the same number of cards. So not super worried. 150 damage. This is pretty cool though, having full protection against these sort of thing. Totson World Corona, Teal Valley in Standard. I mean, when I played it, it felt very underwhelming against Mew Mew. I don't think it can beat um, Garden or Sylvian either. I, I, I think that the biggest issue is the fact that you have to continually welder to the same full Corona to get back to back attacks. I think that's the biggest issue. Um, of course, you have red and blue tag team to evolve and attach energies, but. The fact that you have to dedicate energy to the same Pokemon over and over is really bad. Yeah, really, really bad. Um, Nicolas, do I have a good hold deck? No, I do not, unfortunately. I do not have a good hold deck. Okay, I don't have Field Lord, so I can't get rid of this Fine Fury Belt. So I'm just gonna bright on. So the plan is put this guy at 200. Hit this guy once again with Guzma, and then go for uh, Black Rage GX for the win to take six prizes in one turn. That's the plan. Yeah, we'll see if it works out, but that's the plan at least. Power Plant would shut down my Kiarna. Oh yeah, he could have GG and me when he Power Planted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my opponent just doesn't know the mechanics of this sort of things. Power Plant would have shut down Makarna, which would have allowed him to GG end me. Well, GG end is a temporary fix, though, right? Well, there's an annoying Acer Ola. I mean, with no energy on these guys, though, and now I'm free to just KO this Pokemon and clean up my bench. It's completely okay. Completely okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so by benching this, he couldn't use Synchro Woofer. Really awkward place for my opponent. So I'm pretty sure now I clear up my bench, right? Now I despair Ray and get the KO, and then he's left energy less, and then I go Guzma kill this because he shouldn't be able to knock out my Mew Mew. Even a Lele with a DC doesn't do it. Even a Lele with a DC doesn't do it. Oh, I already used my GX attack. That's true, Rahul. That is very true. I already used my GX attack. There's another Max Potion. Super annoying. There's Double Dragon. So the Black Rage X attack wasn't going to work because I KO'd two Inkays earlier on. Oopsies. It's fine though. This has been an incredibly long game, but... What? 
So my opponent is playing Neuburn, Buzzwell, Bartram Gratina, and Malamar. Alright, so do I have a Zero Life here? I do. I do indeed have a Zero Lamp. So then I can't be knocked out. Promote this person, attach the middle. And then I go triple distortion door. One, two. And then next turn I can go triple distortion door, Goose Makeo the Lele for the win. I'm pretty sure. Do I have my fourth Giratina available? I think I'll just bench another Mewi though, just in case. Just in case I'm missing something. And then let's go with the Spear Ray. Yeah, and then next turn I should have the win. As long as my Guzma is available, aka not priced. Either I knock out this guy or I go Guzma KO these, but my opponent has been playing a bunch of healing, so that's probably what he has right now. It's probably going to be what he has right now. Okay, so yeah, we just get attacked. So we'll go Distortion Door. There's a victory. Alright, so it took us a while, but we got there. So definitely not the best showcase of the deck. I made some pretty crucial mistakes here and there um, in terms of mechanics and whatnot. So I am going to um, leave this deck for now. I'm going to leave this deck for now. We are going to be moving on to the next one. However, um, I will be coming back to this in probably at some point this week so that we can um, go over it once I have more time to practice with it. So if you're watching live, don't go anywhere. I will be right back in just a second with our next deck.
Welcome back everyone, welcome back to brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2020. If you've been watching live with me on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And if you've been, uh, if you're watching the video, don't forget to the like, it really helps out the channel. We are now moving on to Zoro Toad from Expanded. I do believe this deck has um, a lot of potential. I just realized I don't have Freezer Stamp in this, which I do think is probably very useful. So I did end up adding the Alolan Mock earlier today in order to help with Mew Mew. However, hmm, what would be the cut for I think it's gonna be one size of toad. I know it's really good to start with, but um, hmm. yeah, it's gonna be one size of toad. I'm gonna cut one size of toad just for one reset stamp, just so that I can be even more disruptive. So we have zero toad, which relies on. Ability trade, where you can discard to one card and draw two more um, each turn for each sword, which is really, really nice. And then you have Righteous Beating, dealing 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play. However, the main focus of the deck is definitely not Zorg, it's going to be Seismitoad EX. And indeed, Derek, I did take away a Seismitoad. We have Quaking Punch, dealing 30 damage, and your opponent can't play any item cards from his or her hand during his or her turn. So a really nice way to start off the game. And the main idea for this deck is going to be using Quaking Punch throughout the whole game to slow down our opponents and potentially stop them from winning. So in combination with that, we do have a Lolan Monk with the power of Alchemy to stop abilities like Mew Mew, um, the Dene, Shaman, Lele, etc. And we're gonna be as disruptive as we can between Reset Stamp and Enhanced Hammers, um, Pumerias, and the Hypnotoxic Lasers, which poison and potentially put the opponent's Pokemon to sleep. We are going to try and uh, prevent them from attacking as much as possible, prevent them from using item cards as much as possible. And then we have Orangru to get back resources if we really need to. Um, a little bug also helps against potential Hoopa decks and Zerky trees, which could stop us um, from attacking with our four DC on Seismic Toads. So, all and Mock a very nice inclusion to a list. And so, let's jump into a ladder and be extra, extra annoying against people. All right. Excuse me. I had to sneeze there, but I didn't want that to show up on the <laughs> video. All right, so let's see what we can achieve here. Let's see what we can achieve with this particularly annoying Zoro Toad deck. All right, so we do find an opponent. To find an opponent. All right. Kuzma Hell Attack Team is going to be in, insane in this deck. I agree, Zach. Um, searching for DC, Beer Bank, and Choice Band, or Finding Fury Belt, or Flowstone. Yeah. Um, especially a search for DCE um, is going to be really nice in Expanded. Um, I think good math. I think all the tank and supporters are really, really good. The ones that are like reasonable, right? Not like the Misty Lorelei one, which um, allows you to reuse a GX attack. I mean, that's good, but it's definitely not um, fantastic, if you will. All right. <laughs> There's Sayer Fire. Thank you so much for being here. And there's definitely a lot of um, new names that I don't recognize over here on Twitch, so I'm happy to, to see that. Okay, so immediately we're up against the Zorak Mirror Match, and we're not running Bridget in this list. We are relying on um, Mess Balls to finish our setup. So that's going to be potentially problematic 
just a little bit. I do lose as Zorg and these supporters, not the biggest of deals. Definitely not the biggest of deals. Um, I get a decent-ish follow-up. So I, the one thing I don't know is if I should attach the energy or not. I feel like I'm not going to attach it because it could just get enhanced hammered, Fabad. I mean, if it's Fabad, then it's fine. Joe Bro, thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? So we did a Ultra Wolf just going double goose my immediately. For Lele, for Bridget, I'd imagine. So different setups, different setups, different um, approaches. We see the... Wait, why would you... This keeps happening. People are playing Professor Elms in Expanded instead of Bridget. Why would you do that? Oh, for the Rattata. Okay, so I'm glad I went for the Lodestone. Okay, so the Rattata would have allowed my opponent to get rid of my Lodestone. I guess that's why. I guess that's the reason why. I guess that is the reason why. Kind of makes sense. We see the we see Ditto. I didn't get to bench. I did not get to bench the Alola and Grimer, therefore I can't threaten that Ditto. Uh, we see the Radicate. So seeing this, I assume my opponent is utilizing. Um, Hypnotoxic laser in order to utilize Radicate Super Fang to get the KOs on the GXs. Therefore, therefore, um, okay, so what do I trade away here? These three cards give me a knockout on Ditto, potentially give me a knockout on. The Rattata, Ditto is probably better. I also stop item cards. So I guess I trade away the Ultra Ball. Because trading away DZ doesn't seem great when I price one. Alright. Uh, nothing special. Kinda like. Potentially stopping my bone. He already discarded two Kuzmas. So this would slow him down a little. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. It also frees up my bench, which is never a bad thing. And then there's no point in playing the Hypnotoxic Laser. It doesn't get me a hey in between turns knockout. Alright, so we see the first Zorg. No items, however, from my opponent. Another Zorg. Come on. Okay, I was gonna say, don't be sick of more, please. Okay, so Rescue Stretcher. No more Pseudo Widows, probably, for my opponent. We're gonna take it slow and steady wins the race here. But we need to Quaking Punch every single turn. Every single turn. Yeah, I guess Elms. I was about to say, Elms gets you Execute to into hand. So. Maybe it is better than Bridget. You're not gonna bridge it for Lele or Shaman, so maybe it is better. Uh, no X in this list. No, yeah, there is one Execute. There is one Execute in this list. Maybe it was priced and that's why I didn't see it, but there is one Execute in this. Hello, Henry. I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? How about yourself? Okay, so I think I'm gonna trade the other trouble. That seems reasonable. Um, if I play the Verbank City team, he discards Lele Shaman and then some combination of other basics which are important. So that's good. Has six, well, only one more. Probably the Rattata. Either Rattata or Zorua. And hello, Sakari Bear and Victor. Everything is going great. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I'm gonna bench the Seismi Toad, and then I'm just gonna take it slow and steady. Slow and steady, very controlly of me. Um, my opponent cannot play the laser, 
right? So that's good. There's a triple gone. There's a sycamore. So what I'm looking towards is an Acerola play next turn to heal my Dork. You see the stadium immediately get played. And it's like, why would you play the stadium before trade? There's no need, right? There's absolutely no need. There's absolutely no need. And Ryan is bidding for a hundred. So with a full bench, he would have been able to knock out the seismic toads since I have not found a Fighting Fury Belt just yet. <clears throat> I mean, I don't mind stopping executes for him especially and the Ditto. I think that seems solid. And I really want to heal the Seismic Toad. Right. Thank you so much for subscribing. I can't read that. Thank you so much for subscribing. And welcome. Okay, so promote that guy, bench this guy, attach. Uh, do I want to Ultra Ball? Don't think I do. I do want a Hypnotoxic Laser though, because getting out of the uh, Poison and Sleep is going to be much harder under Item Lock, right? So I've been saving that. And then my opponent does wake up. He does have a pretty big hand, so. It can be a problem. Plenty of trades for my opponent. Deck out is a very real scenario, very real possibility rather. There's absolutely no way he doesn't have other energies already, right? Absolutely no way. There's a DTE. Will he bench everything and knock me out though? Goes for the Cold is interesting. I mean, I can't imagine what other basics he might have. Two Leilies are gone, two Shamans are gone or in play. No Rescue Stretcher possibility. 2-2 two, two, Radicate Flying X, maybe a Thicker, like another Execute, the Execute, the Rattata, another Rattata I'd imagine. So maybe I should have Ultra Bolt for Pseudo Woodo. Okay, but we just see the right just that works out. Thank you so much Lorenzo for subscribing to our YouTube channel. We are over 18,000 people now, which is an insane amount of people. All right, so I don't mind the big hand my opponent has. I definitely think I want Pseudo Woodo this turn. Okay, thank you very much Zorg for deciding to show up. Thank you very much for deciding to show up. So then maybe I don't want to set up a Lowland Rock. Okay. I think the other discard is going to be the Seismic Toad. That seems solid. <laughs> you have a cold, that sucks. Oh, there's no Pseudo Woodo. Well, that sucks. There is indeed no Pseudo Woodo. I do have two stadiums, but I can't find them. Yeah, Alexander, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, let's grab Zorua. Okay, then then I will evolve the mock, right? Then I will evolve the mock. I guess one last hurrah for execute, just have it in hand. And then I'll go Alola mock, so no execute for him. Ditto is not evolving anytime soon. No DC either. And then grabbing a Cirola to heal. I mean, I could just knock out. With Seismic Toad, I mean with Zorg, but slow and steady wins the race, right? Slow and steady wins the race. 
I can just win by deck out. Polaris is gone. Imagine my opponent has an end somewhere. Guzmas are gone. So my bench is completely safe. And I have Guzma myself. Three DS Seekers are gone. There's a DCE. So, I mean, it might get to a point where my damage output is just not quite enough. Right? I am found Stadium or Flying Fear Belt. Which is not ideal. I should have just Cold Rift, I guess. For training. Yeah, I'm just gonna Cold Rift here. I'm just gonna Cold Rift. Alright. I still don't find stadium. <laughs> I still do not find a stadium. Well, at least I find this. And then... And I guess I can reset stamp? Try and make him with the energy, get rid of more resources, force him to have trades is my point playing four dcs and four triples i would guess no i would guess no there's a triple didn't even bother trading okay so now i definitely have knockout which is nice. And I can Acerola here. So more and more energies are gone. Slowly but surely. I don't need to trade anymore. So I won't for now. And keeping this guy damaged does mean I can... Oh, I didn't even need the stadium to get the Gale. Um, Keeping that guy damaged means I can Acerola. There's a Sudowoodo. Nice timing, Sudowoodo. Nice, nice timing. Yeah, this is the story of this deck for sure. This is the story for this deck. You just take it slow and steady with the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Or wins the Zorak mirror match at least. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the Zorak mirror match. So we took an end, not the biggest of deals. Like sure, maybe I won't get to heal, but that's the third triple. That is the third triple acceleration energy, and my opponent is not even too good KOing me at this point, thanks to the thing. There's the victory! There is the victory. All I needed was a Hypnotoxic Laser to continue to pressure my opponent and just eventually win. Alright, so let's look for another match here. Um, this might be Turbo Ray or Vileplume. <laughs> Vileplume based Mew Mew. My opponent is calling the coin flip, taking its sweet time, calling it. And Henry, <laughs> welcome. Welcome, our first ever YouTube member. Thank you so much, Henry. Thank you so, so much for becoming a member and as always, supporting no matter what. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Am I going to test Zorogarp? I will, Derek, I will. Not today, but I will get to that eventually. Um, you'd rather go, you are part of the team, Henry. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, I'd rather go for the Seismic Dota approach than the Radicate one. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I'd rather. Yeah, I'm just showcasing the deck so that people can take a look at it. I will eventually play um, Zorark Radicate. Oh my gosh, this is so harsh. This is so harsh. 
my this card was always going to be pretty bad and then I just top picked another DP and then <laughs> my hand is just atrocious. Oh well. Um <laughs> Rahul, yeah. Um the control aspect of this deck is certainly annoying. Certainly, certainly annoying. Um, so yeah, I will eventually get to Zorgarb as well. Um, I'm showcasing this. I will get to showcase Radicate as well. Lily in the Mimu deck, interesting. With Max Elixirs. What a start though. <laughs> what a start. My opponent's deck is so blinked out. He actually has the most expensive versions of everything, it seems. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hmm? Doesn't Karen... <sighs> Alright, so... I'm just gonna have to sick him again. I'm just gonna have to stick over again after the double tails. I'm definitely not meant to win this game. <laughs> I'm clearly not meant to win this game. Okay, so what I really need yeah, is a DC, right? Who would have thought? Who would have thought I needed a DC right here? I think the only way I win is if I set up a little unmock. Plus Quaking Punch, and then my opponent never Guzmas and KOs it. That's the only way. This is so bad. <laughs> this is actually so bad. And I have one Zorak left. That means I price two. <laughs> this is insane. This is actually insane. The game just doesn't want me to win this game at all. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, you got it, man. Well, I have Stretcher, I guess. That's crazy, though. That is absolutely crazy. He already had the Guzman hand. Like, just no problem. Here's the Guzman man. What the heck? Okay. I should have promoted size until then. What the heck? <laughs> okay, if I win this, I am a hero. Uh, sure. Does he have back to back Kuzmas? Um, definitely Sudaburo. And definitely Zorua. I'm not gonna discard the Grimer, my friend. Energy there, Fighting Fury Belt there, and Colrus. Okay, so I will be able to set up a little Monk. And can I beat Latios one on one? I would imagine so, right? How many Guzmas does he play? That's another good question. Um, I think this would be my favorite Zorak version. It's definitely the most fun um, in terms of annoying your opponent. The other ones are more aggressive, right? And they're more interactive. This one is just like you get to a point where you just outright win. All is good, Paul. Thank you so much for being here. How about you? And there's Seraphire. Do I coach any junior players? I do. I coach a lot of junior players, actually. I coach a lot, a lot of junior players at the moment. Okay, so can we make this happen? Can we actually make this happen? The Latios is now ready to go. The Latios is now ready to go. So is my Alolan Mok though. So 
So is my Alola mug. And then I go... Ooh, Enhance Hammer would be nice. Enhance Hammer would be nice. So if I get DC, maybe I have a chance. <laughs> like I said, maybe. Did I prize DC too? Did I actually prize DC as well? Just to like really top it off. Yeah, I priced one. Perfect. Perfect deck. You are just amazing. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. Like I was never winning that game. Even from like from the start I was just not winning <laughs> that game. <laughs> Discarding two DCs and turn one and two enhanced hammers now I remember. Um, following up with only a Zuna Wood over the bench. Well yeah, it's like two Zorax prize, another DC prize. I was never ever going to win that match. Ever. Alright. Alright. Okay, so still a really bad start. <laughs> Gosh, I hate expand. Like seeing be a seeker just gives me such a bad uh, vibe, and it's like, oh, this is why I don't play expanded. Because be a seeker is so good that you want to play it, but then it's so bad on turn one. You kind of don't want to play it. Well, the three mulligans certainly will help. All right, now we're up against me of you. So, primer super important. Choice and on the active, super aggressive, no stealthy hood, right? No stealthy hood. You see, trainer's mail for Juniper. We don't know what variant of Mew Mew this is yet. Uh, this probably means it's the Mega Cardi variant. Yep, there's a Mega Cardi in the disco pile right there. Okay. Pretty solid. Pretty solid so far for my opponents. Can you play Zoro Power? What is Zoro Power? Then it's uh I have no idea what Zoro Power is. I actually don't know what a Zoro power is. <laughs> so a few damage counters here and there. Two to be exact. Should be safe for now. Oh, Zorak with Jolton and Electro Power. I honestly don't have a list for that. I do not play Giraffe Rake, no. I do not in fact play Giraffe Rake. Alright, so pretty nice top deck, pretty nice top deck, I feel like I'm gonna field lower the choice bands just because I don't expect my opponent to be playing stealthy hood, right, so I don't think I'm doing him any favors, and then I'll go N, see what we get here, Pfft. not the best, we find the mug I guess, just pass here though. Okay, so we're definitely getting attacked. There's a chance the Grimer survives. If it does, then we're in a fantastic position. The Seismic Dodge should be able to survive as well. I took out the Stadium, so... We definitely have a fighting chance here. Never mind. <laughs> we only get Counter Stadium, that's fair. 
that is certainly fair. I mean, after I set up the mock though, what does my opponent do? He needs an energy and a Kuzma and knock out the Grimer. And his her bench is full, therefore she can't play late for the Kuzma. Do you think Karen is a good counter to Mimi or Mock is better? Both are really good. Um, having both would probably be very powerful. Having both would probably be very powerful. Ooh, so it seems like my opponent's gonna try and stop my item cards. Which if he does, so it's a win-win basically. Because if he does, then I have the Colrus. And if he doesn't, if he clears up the bench, then I have um, just like Sycamore. And I already have the mock, so that's pretty big. That is pretty big. I honestly might just win when I play this down. Um, I did that before benching Layla, of course, because I plan on call resting. Yeah, I'm gonna call rest for seven, pretty good amount. And now, how does my opponent deal with the muck after I quake and punch? I don't think she can. So I trade before. Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say something silly. Yeah, I. That should be game over, right? I mean, my opponent can Miraculous do, I guess, for 200. That is the one thing my opponent can do. Not this turn, though. Oh no, yeah, this turn. Never mind. She can't this turn. Ooh, she did have the Kuzma, but didn't have the energy. There's a victory. She could have Miraculous Duo to KO me and set up the KO uh, with that on the Monk, but... Set up Mock and win, I guess, when they don't have the appropriate counters. Even if she did have Stealthy Hood. Let's say that's the power of um, Seismic Toad with Mock, though. That even if they have Stealthy Hood, once you use the Mock and remove it, then they're out, right? They are 100% out of it. They are 100% out of it. So I do want to go first. I do want to go first. And not the best start, not the worst. We get a mulligan, so we get to find out what my opponent is playing. Very psychic. Um, what's the psychic then? If this is a Lolan Guardia Aromatis, what is the psychic? I mean, really nice that with the Quaking Punch, we're gonna stop the healing with Aromatis uh, and Max Potion. We don't stop a Zero Lock, but we, does, we do stop the healing. Which is really good. Yeah, my opponent waiting to choose the active. I like her sleeves. Alright, so top deck stretcher, not the best. Don't think I even hold stone. Well, maybe I do. Nah, let's just take a more. Okay, so double nest ball, pretty nice. I kind of, once again, don't want to attach the DC purely because it could get enhanced hammer or flabbed. Like Gardevoir, might you might expect it to play some disruption, some, not a lot, but some. The Wonder Energy doesn't change anything. Wow, and it's just a draw pass here for her. All right, so we definitely want to take advantage of that. I'm not even going to bother benching the Shaman. I'm just going to go ahead and Sycamore. <clears throat> See what else we can get. See what else we can get. No Zorg. Um... Well, no Zorg, like, drawing it, but I can't control for it. So, pretty nice. It seems like I should have the, the match under control, right? It seems like I should have the match under control. Alright, so trade. And then Quaking Punch. No item cards anymore for my opponent. Uh, the energy doesn't stop that, of course. Doesn't stop anything that I do, really. 
I can even fab it away to stop her from attacking next turn if that's all she's threatening. Her hand must be full of energies, otherwise. <laughs> and I just get the Enhance Hammer. I mean, so I definitely think it's better to Enhance Hammer the energy, keeping Fava for a potential tool or stadium that might hurt me. I think that makes sense. And then we'll just Waking Punch. No stadium is annoying, but it's not a big deal. Like, my damage up is so low without the stadium, but it's fine. Alright. Alright. Energy attachment. Okay, so... I don't think I can win. Right? If I find Plumeria, then that should be game. That should be game. <laughs> there you go. Straight, simple, to the point. Just Quaking Punch until infinity. Just Quaking Punch until infinity. Alright, so last game. Last game of today's stream. Okay, we are going second. We will get a turn on Quaking Punch, that's always nice. Now I wish I was playing Bridget, right? Now I definitely wish I was playing Bridget. I could get Ant, so that's why I'm playing the other Seismic Toad here. Cherish. Surprise is another Mimi attack. This time with Glacian apparently. opponent seeing what they do it's a mega guardy deck or something no they're not slowly oh it's actually vile plum Ooh, it's vile plum but no a lola next rowlet thing all right so i don't see any reason why bench the lele i don't see any reason why i should bench the lele okay now this is pretty solid. I do like Nest falling for the climber, right? That makes sense. And then I do like going for Shaman here. What do I discard though? It's definitely the field lore, but what else? The stadium or the DCD? I think the stadium is better. Overall, and then Oh no, the shame is prized. And I just used my Lele. Alright, so Zorg it is. <laughs> we 100% rely on the Zorg to pull through for us. I mean, it should be very difficult for my opponent to attack me next turn. I don't know why you play Lightning Lance in Mew Mew. In Expanded Mew Mew, why would you play Lightning Lance? Psychic Fairy Charm, that's not gonna be a thing to worry about. So why do you play Lies and Lamps in Expanded? Look at this, it's it's amazing how powerful just saying Quaking Punch is. It immediately shuts off complete decks. Immediately shuts off complete decks. It's crazy. It's crazy how powerful it is. 
actually crazy how powerful it is. So powerful that my opponent has to restore to attaching to the active. Alright, so I definitely trade away the next ball, right? Because I didn't need to evolve immediately. We get a Faba and we get a Kuzma. I mean, the Kuzma means I don't get damaged and buys me so many turns that I think it's worth using. I mean, we get strapped. If he chooses to attach and retreat, then that's fine. And like between Quaking Punch and a Roll and Mock, that just shuts off whole deck. Whole Mew Mew is shut off by this. I definitely think playing a Ditto Prism would be a good idea, though, for sure. Okay, so we see a Rainbow Energy attached to the active. So, Miraculous Duel is a thing that can happen. It's not the end of the world, though. It's really not the end of the world. So overall, a Lolan Mock as a counter is definitely better. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely better. So we see the stadium. That's the third stadium my opponent has played. There's Makiana, which is stopped by Mock. Does my opponent even realize? Okay, it does go for a Miraculous Duel, that's the only attack she's gonna do this game though, with that Mew Mew. Um, damage change is a thing that can happen at some point. Not super worried about it. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of the Fava. Well, not the best. Not the best follow up to this. Hopefully, the Mimu stays asleep so it can't retreat. Nope. It wakes up. So, slow and steady wins the race, but we are going incredibly slow, though. Uh, because we priced the Shaman, we are going incredibly, incredibly slow. So, we see the Oddish, we see the Rowlet. We get the attachment to the bench, Mew Mew. Or not me, me, me too. And now it's hitting for 60. Okay, so that is a problem. That is certainly a problem. I don't need to load on this match. Well, I can just out heal, or I should be able to out heal. I'm not drawing anything to draw though. Eh, Kevin, porque ya se vienen torneos de expandido. Ya se vienen próximamente los torneos expandido. Es por eso. Jeez. Ah, I went very slowly and steadily, but she is able to pressure me. Okay, there's a Via Seeker finally. So I could Kuzma, but no, I have to Sycamore. We have to Sycamore. Damage change. I think we might be watching that. Alright. Now that's what I'm talking about. Definitely want to set up the Zorua. Definitely want to counter Stadium. Definitely want to do this. Definitely want to trade as well. I'll trade this. For expanding, you would just play Greninja, Christian. I mean, that's fair. That's honestly fair. Uh, now I got the Eternal. I don't have to turn the Via Seeker. Okay, so I'm just gonna Quaking Punch. Now that's a lot of damage, though. And if my opponent doesn't retreat, the Mewtwo goes down in between turns. The Mewtwo does go down in between turns. I'm okay with the end. I need to deal some damage, it's completely fine. Probably should have benched the Seismic Toad. I 
it's fine. Okay, so we see the shatter shot. The Mewtwo does go down. Not sure my opponent realized that was gonna happen. So then, how many energy are, is, is she down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And she plays Prism energies as well. So we're definitely gonna do this. With three cards in hand, the item lock is certainly less important, but by doing this, I definitely slow her down for a turn, so that's fine. And then I definitely think trading away the reset stamp is good. And yeah, we're in a really good spot here. I don't even have to use Rolex here, but I might as well. Just in case I'm missing something. Just in case I'm missing something. Yeah, it's all about the Quaking Punch. It's just so destructive. Quaking Punch plus a low unlock. That's the key. That is indeed the key. And then dealing 100 damage essentially per turn thanks to the Stadium, it's gonna be pretty good. You think I can win through getting rid of all his energy with Oranguru? Yeah, that's also another potential win condition for sure. It's also another potential win condition for sure. But, I mean, it seems like she's already running very low on energy. And, sure, now my items are stopped. Not the biggest of deals. Not the biggest of deals. I think I'm gonna play it cool with my trading so far. I'm just gonna Quaking Punch here. And then, next turn. 160, if she doesn't counter Stadium, which... She has one stadium left. Then that's a dead Rowlet. That's a dead Rowlet and a little executor. And sure, my opponent has the item lock, but that's it, right? That's it. Uh, well, that's sad. The Guzma is very sad here. Now I need a DTE. Now I need a DZ. Oh no, never mind. I, I mean, I don't need. Meh. There, I was like, oh no, I need to Quaking Punch, but no, I don't need to Quaking Punch. Mm. This is my last laser. I have the end, so I should be fine, right? As long as I don't discard it by mistake. And I have a Rhino as well. Where are my DCs though? I have one DC left. Where is my Kuzma? It's in the discard ball. Um, yeah, and I can't play Hypnotoxic. What am I saying? Okay, so I need to stop discarding stuff. Heaven is trying to make me dead draw. I'll just, yeah, pass. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you have the same number of cards. No, she has one more. Is my last DC prize? If it is, I'm in trouble then. If my last DC is prized, then I've lost. Acerola gets her back cards, gets her cards back, heals the Rowlet, decides to play them anyways though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus 10. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, I think I lose. Well, no, I have Colrus. I have Colrus. She's down two ends. 
four ends. Okay, so Colrus should do it for me. My last TT is indeed prized. My last TT is indeed prized. I don't think this... Nope, I'm still dead. <laughs> I've lost to the deck out. Yep. I love to deck out. That last trade I did, that was, that's what cost me the game. I draw before she does. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. The item lock did it for her. I should have used one via seeker for a boost, I guess. Yep. Well played. Well, well played. Well priced. <laughs> Not necessarily well played, but well priced. My last DC being prized. No, my Guzma is in the discard pile. My Guzma is in the discard pile and I have no more DS Seekers. I was one card away from winning. I was one card away from winning. That last trade I did, I mean, I didn't expect to go into the scenario. Yep, that's it. That is it. One more card would have done it. One more card would have done it. One more card would have done it. Prizing my last DC was the issue right there. Prizing the last DC was the issue. Nothing else. But yeah, that will be all for today. Thank you so much for joining us in our inaugural <laughs> YouTube stream. I really appreciate all of you who showed up. Um, this will happen throughout the week. So if you're catching up on the video and you want to join, live on youtube we will be live streaming every day of this week hopefully well not tomorrow because i have a dentist appointment tomorrow um but every day after tomorrow so wednesday thursday and friday should be live streaming here on youtube just seeing how it goes and if you guys or if you people show extra support then i'll definitely make this a much more common occurrence thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you are watching the video i can definitely put the deck list again for you guys to see at the end of the video here you go so you can see the bottom cards and then the top cards and then the bottom cards again thank you so much henry thank you so much for being our first youtube member and i will catch you on wednesday Bye bye